Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video, we're going to look at the difference between Writer and Visual Studio and which one might be the best option for you. Full disclosure, I do get both licenses for free, uh, one for work and the other one just for Coding Flamingo, but neither of them ask me to say anything or care anything about what I say in my videos. So this is all fully my opinion on which one I like better and the results I saw. So first thing we should look at is pricing. Pricing at the individual level, the advantages for Visual Studio, they are free versus Writer that is 13, basically $14 a month. So if you're looking for the cheapest option, Visual Studio is definitely the winner there. However, the opposite is true for organizations. So if you're in an organization, Writer is $34 a month versus Visual Studio is $45 a month. So pricing in one, they're better than the other. And so that one is up to you if you're willing to pay extra for whatever features you want, depending on whether you're an individual or a business. Then since we're all engineers and we really like the numbers, let's jump into the performance. So loading the solution menu. So that's when you like load up the program and it tells you which solution to pick. That one, Visual Studio is way faster. So Visual Studio just in less than one second opens up and you have all your all your solutions there and you can choose whatever you want. Writer does take eight seconds. And this is all in uh, latest gen Ryzen 5 CPU, enough RAM for everything. So uh, computer performances as best as you can hope for. Then loading the solution itself. So for loading the solution itself, I used uh, my company's main repo where we have 32 projects ranging from console apps to Blazor applications. It's a very good benchmark just because there's a lot of code and a lot of solutions and loading it. Um, Writer was two seconds faster than Visual Studio. And then building it, Writer was two seconds slower than Visual Studio. So they're very close neck and neck on performance. And same with running the test, they were one second apart. The, the one that is a big difference is RAM. So by just sitting idling, not building, no nothing, Visual Studio was using five gigabytes of RAM versus Writer that was using 2.6. So if you're RAM constrained or you don't want Chrome and another program to eat all your RAM, right, it might be a better option there. And so then these are the feature comparisons that I'm gonna talk about. Here's like a quick list if you just wanna do the TLDR and also I'm just gonna deep dive into them. So let's start with Visual Studio. Visual Studio has the AI autocomplete that I've talked about on Twitter before. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure to follow me. I have great memes there. That's mostly what I post on the Coding Flamingo Twitter. So the AI autocomplete knows what you want and just all of a sudden you get 15 lines of code of whatever next you were gonna type. So that's amazing. You can kind of do similar with Writer if you are in GitHub Copilot program. I am part of it and I have made a video about it. I'm gonna link it down here. But for C Sharp, honestly, the Visual Studio AI is way better. The second advantage for Visual Studio is faster adoption of new tech. So Maui, Blazor, all these new things that are coming out, they're usually adapted in Visual Studio way earlier than Writer. And the reason for that is Visual Studio needs it. Sorry, Microsoft needs Visual Studio to adapt it for developers to test it. So they're always kind of like on the bleeding edge while well, Writer takes their time and actually, in my opinion, does a more thorough job and it's usually more stable. And the last one is kind of like a nitpick and full disclosure, I've used Visual Studio for many years and Writer, I'm just switching to it. So there is more that I'm used to in Visual Studio, but like one of the things that I love the most is Paste is Special and Paste is JSON as a class. So basically this is you grab a JSON response from a web API that you're gonna consume or something you just paste it as a class and it'll create a class for you. So no need to type it all out. Time saver, it's great. And you can do something similar with Writer with plugins and everything, but in here, I just wanna keep it as vanilla as possible because with all of them, you can add plugins and everything to, to match. So then let's jump into Writer. So the first thing I had was better editing experience. And these are like little things, but they add up. One of the things I really like is you can have Zoom per file. So let's say you have a file that it, you would just like having a larger font, you can have it. And then sm smaller files, you can just make them zoom out. I actually use this a lot because of the, uh, my Razor files. Usually I kind of want to see everything. And then my C sharp files, I spent too much time on them. So I don't want to strain my eyes and I make them larger. Another great thing is you have kind of like this 
reference line down here on the right that kind of tells you when to break to a new line. So it doesn't matter how zoom in or zoom out you are, you know, kind of like the best practice on when to do it. And th the last thing as well is it looks for to do's. So if you have like a to do, you can go and search them. So you don't have to do like a control F and go for them. It has them here. So I thought that was a great feature to have and just like search your code for them. The next one that is a big one and it could be a deal breaker for many people is it's multi-platform. So Writer is exactly the same as it is in Windows as it is for Mac which Visual Studio is not. And that's one of the reasons I started using Writer was I needed something for Mac because I'm developing some Mac stuff and I didn't like Visual Studio on Mac. So Writer has kind of like the exact same interface. So whatever you do on Windows, you can do on Mac and I love it. And the last one is better coding recommendations. So like little things uh, like Sometimes you have a for loop or something and you get a little warning and it says, oh, this could just be a link statement. And I've actually learned a lot. It's kind of like someone doing a pull request while you're writing the code. So it actually makes your code more efficient. Like in here, for example, I have a warning. And if you look at it, it's like initializing the field by the default value is useless. Uh, the default value for an int is zero. So by doing this, I'm just doing it again. So you could actually just remove that. And those little warnings, it also has spell check, which is a big thing. So yeah, those little things make the editing experience, in my opinion, a little bit better. So now it's up to you. Uh, which one do you like? Comment down below which one are your favorite features of each one and why do you use each or the other? And let me know if I missed something. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.